How's it going everybody? My name is Salty and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at my five attachment class setup for the Vargo 52 here in Black Ops Cold War. Now, before we get started, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for me so you don't miss any of my daily Call of Duty videos. Next, make sure to also smash the like button. It's the easiest and most effective way to support the channel. Let's jump right into it. So I got a lot of requests to cover the class setup that I used where I covered the Pharaoh Fury bundle or whatever the heck that Mastercraft bundle is called with the Vargo. So we're going to jump into that class setup now. As I said, it's a five attachment class setup. For, so for the wild card, we have Pert Breed down there. Starting, we have the Gru Suppressor. This is for 10% vertical recoil control and the ability to stay off the map hidden from enemies. This is an extremely aggressive class setup. Uh, this weapon's kind of like the FFAR, the FARA, so it's definitely a medium and close range assault rifle. Definitely not be best used at uh, longer ranges, so that effective damage range and bullet velocity drop-off really isn't all too big of a deal. So for the barrel, I have the 12.5-inch ultralight for a bunch of movement speeds, 10% aim walking movement speed, 5% strafe speeds. And just after using this barrel for a bit, it, I definitely found the most success, especially while going with the iron sights, and you just absolutely fly around the map. So we're not going with an underbarrel or a body, but we're sliding right down to the magazine where I have the 50 round mag. This can be really replaced for anything, whether that be the fast mag, the 40 round speed mag, regular 40 round mag, whatever map you're playing, you can just decide what that magazine will be the best there for you. For the handle, the Gruel last grab, like always for the most amount of aim down sight speed. We get the flinch resistance and ability to drop shot. And then the KGB skeletal stock for the most amount of sprint to fire speed, along with 40% added to our aim walking movement speed to just Overall, make your stray speeds while aiming down those sights absolutely insane. I have a ton of fun using this class setup, and we're about to jump over onto a nuclear gameplay on Raid. It's going to best feature the weapon. With that being said, there are 28 new bundles coming to Cold War in the future. I don't know if that's going to be in the near future or throughout the year, but there's 28 confirmed bundles. So if you guys want me to cover those, make sure you guys head down there and leave a comment saying, yes, I want to see those bundles or no, it's probably not worth it. But without further ado, we're going to jump into this gameplay. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I got a lot of requests on what the Vargo class setup was for when I recorded the bl uh, bundle or blueprint video. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to use that exact same class setup. A little bit of a different build just because it may sound weird, but this is a very aggressive AR. This is basically an SMG, if you ask me. An SMG with a hack ton of range. See, like, right there is just not one you're going to win. Absolutely not. Do not try to take that gunfight. Okay, so it looks like they're all around B. I'm in here with BAMS, by the way. If you guys watch Cold War, you guys probably know who BAMS is. One. 
That hurt. My team is absolutely running through them right now. Like, this is not close. My boy Bams to come through with some streaks, though. UAV or harp or something. Give me something. I just juked this guy so bad. All right. We got the nuke already. All right. We got the harp to start the round here. Let's do it. I'm going to try to rush right into their spawn. We got a burst tech nine guy right here. Let's go for him. Enemy spy plane inbound. Well, you know what? He's he got me. Doesn't look like Bams is gonna get me any streaks. I didn't want to call him the nuke, but he sniped, so. Easier said than done. Look at this. They're laying down on the ground. I'm out of ammo. Here we go. Yeah, he died. I'm just going to hit this nuke. He only has 12 kills. I'm kind of hogging him. These guys, I don't know, man. They don't even, they don't even really stand a chance. Losing Bravo. Losing C. Like the way my team is just out freaking slaying them right now, it's stupid. Your mic is 
Oh my god. That was good shots by me. Actual. I knew he was there too. I knew he was there. I just couldn't turn quick enough. The L. L by me. That's why you don't reload. You don't have to. Hey, instead of uh, sitting in ring, why don't you try to like attack the the flag? Hear me out. Win you some games. You know the OBJ, the objective, the point of winning. Sixty-eight and six. GGs. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you could make sure you hit that like button for me, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to the channel, make sure you also smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.